Good morning. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> we daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We're going to do a little Valentine's Day morning scavenger hunt. Happy Valentine's Day. Except for we have a two-year-old and he already found part of the day, basically the biggest part of the scavenger hunt, um, which is the craft. So I rearranged the order of things. We're going to make the best of it. <laughs> There's more yummy surprises by the shoes. Go, go. <gasps> okay. Now pack your swimsuits, these treats. We're staying at the night at Embassy Suites. <laughs> yeah. I booked it tonight at the Embassy Suites. <laughs> That's fun for one tonight. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's surprising. We're going to go swimming at a hotel. We got the cookies. Wow. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm. Yeah, so that is my surprise to the family is I booked us a night at the Embassy Suites. It's right by Navy Pier. Peter and I started the tradition of going on the Ferris wheel our very first Valentine's Day that we were dating. Um, and it always kind of like felt like a super special holiday because we started dating in December of 2008. We were 16 years old, like Christmas and whatnot was a lot of fun. We went on like our first date and we did all of those things. But Valentine's Day was like the first like not family centric holiday where we just like went downtown, went on the Ferris wheel um, and it just became our it became our tradition. Now our last February here before we moved to Florida in 2017, it was so cold that the Ferris wheel wasn't running. So we didn't go on it then. Then when we lived in Florida, we didn't travel home for it. So we made up a new tradition of pancakes and fireworks while we lived in Florida. So we did that while we were there. And then last year, if you watched the vlog, I'll put a link to it here. Um, after a series of unfortunate events, we went up to the Ferris wheel. We were at Navy Pier enjoying our night and it had already closed for the night. So we didn't get to go on it last year. So this is, this hasn't happened in a long time. So it'll be extra special. Um, and then we'll stay the night really close. This hotel is actually a hotel I stayed at a lot with my family growing up. Uh, my mom was a part of our town's school board and there would be like a conference where she would stay at this hotel for the conference and we would come and like stay with her and have a fun weekend downtown so i thought it would be cool to to bring our kids there too oh. yay hey you're getting me with that cookie um so yeah this is gonna be fun we're still oh and what i forgot to say is we're also going to make pancakes before we go so we're from now on we're combining um the traditions as best as we can so pancakes like we had been doing the past four years in florida and the ferris wheel ma, 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 ma. thank you thank you you're so kind to share all right we're gonna start our day with one of the most romantic films of all time did you guess it it is wally not only is it a super romantic movie, um, La Vie and Rose that plays while like, Wally falls in love with Eve it was our first dance at our wedding. Our dog, Eve, is named after Eve. Um, this movie actually came out the year we started dating. And so Wally's kind of always been a, like, a sweet movie for Peter and I's relationship. Maybe that's just what I'll do. I'll play all of the movies that are special to me and Peter today before 
before we go. What a big day. We got pancakes going. It's our tradition to have pancake dinner or pancake meal on Valentine's Day. Super fun. Sarah surprised us with the, the stay at the hotel. I'm almost done with my work day. I have to pull like one last minute like ad hoc request, but the teaser trailer for season three of Ted Lasso just came out and so I'm going to watch it. I hope it's good. Yummy. First thing. Oh, he's a cool dude. Hey. <laughs> We got Miss Rachel on. How we get ourselves together? Let's go! It's weird, like the routine <laughs> has taken effect because, like, I want to go do all the dishes. And, uh, nope, everything. we're leaving and we're celebrating. Kids fell asleep in the car ride. We just checked in. I hope they have like an Embassy Suites brand. They should have a Hilton. It's by Hilton, so they'll have like a Hilton channel. Yes, you know I love those. Just you give. See my favorite building. <gasps> so I don't know if this is gonna give Sarah vibes because she came here when her mom was on the school board. School board. In. Oh, you can see your building too. You just <gasps> have to peek farther. Yes. So does this give? Does this remind you of that thing? Look, you can see the lake right there. Yeah. Does this give you vibes of that, that stay or on the way to the college program? When I would come here, it feels like that. When we did the college program, there was a mustache, like a like a sticker mustache. But we're saying that we stayed in Embassy Suites on the way down to Florida during our yeah. driving down our college program. Yeah. We stayed in Atlanta. And we like opened up the blinds and there was like a sticker mustache on the Oh, window. you really can see the buildings over there. Yeah. Wow. You run on that in the... Marathon, Chicago Marathon. Oh yeah. Cool. This is residential right here. Wow. And I've always wanted to see up there, and I do want to stay in that Lowe's one day, because I'm a huge fan of Lowe's hotels. You almost see Navy Pier, but we're literally like on the street of Navy Pier. Yeah. Because that's what the plan is. Ooh, look at that picture. So I was looking up photos from, yeah, from my last back in the day here. from here. So here's the, the one room, the bedroom. I think this is kind of weird, but I like it. Little kitchenette. Bathroom. Nice. And then there is a pullout on here. And then a desk. Like I could actually work from the desk. And then another TV. So, um, really fun. Quick little stay. It'll do the trick. Nothing like a nice TV, nice bed, good view of the best city in the whole wide world. This view, though. Wait until it's nighttime and it gets lit up even more. over Chicago. I know New York has one. We will have to do it. Hotel. Up. Wow. Up. 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 Good job. I did it. You did it. Okay. Yeah. Wait till you see the Ferris wheel take. Okay, 
Okay, one, it's warm. It is. Two, it's like the Skyliner. It is. It's, it's a little different. They have cushioner. Oh, yeah. Shorter. Shorter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> wow, it's been years, babe. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> It is a big, like, taste of Chicago candy cap. You can pause it here to see everything that is made here. All right, so we got James a little snack and us a little Ted Lasso energy drink. Uh -huh. We'll show that later. The um, candy store is the best. Yes, but we're gonna walk back because it's supposed to rain and we don't wanna get caught in that. And also yeah. because they've got like a happy hour with some free drinks and snacks. Yeah. So we're gonna check that out. And then we're also gonna be here this weekend. Mm -hmm. At Navy Pier. At so. Navy Pier. So we're gonna do more of the shops and, and gift shops and foods then. Yes, so. dodge the rain. Yeah. And then order room then service. Out of here. Yeah, room service. Hello. 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 <laughs> Are you enjoying your soccer? <laughs> Alrighty, we are back at the hotel. I don't know if we showed the atrium. And it's a happy hour. So we got some drinks. Some pretzel bites. We gotta get, I think there's cheese over there. There is. There is cheese over there. Yeah. How, how foolish of me. <laughs> the boys were asleep when we first got in the room. Whoa, hey. <laughs> He's a big old kid in a big old city. Big old kid in a big old city. And we got dips. We got cookies. Double fist and cookies. And, oh, do you see this? Uh -huh. This is zombies. Wow. <gasps> what a miracle. We Which one is it? I think it's zombies two. Yep, zombies two. Yes. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna check out the room service menu, but we just had all those pretzels. We have all this. And we're trying to get into the pool before it closes. Whoa. Is this a Valentine's Day or what? I don't know why I thought this would happen at a, a later age. But I got distracted while I was observing the greatest city in the world. And James found SpongeBob SquarePants. Our dinner, finished watching zombies. We all just got changed into our bathing suits and we're gonna go swim. They have an indoor pool here. It's open until 10. Um, so we'll just do a nice dip before bedtime. We're gonna drain these kids off. Yeah. What do you think? Oh god. Well, it's not a big pool, but it's gonna get the job done. Nice little area. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna go in, hopefully it's warm. The kids are all asleep. So we're just gonna chill on this ledge and watch the city before we go to bed. Happy Valentine's Day. It's good to be home. How about that view? Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We do the vlogs, hope you enjoy this video and these views. Make sure you come back every day. 
It's like, like Michigan over there. So last night got interesting. First of all, this man woke up. I think it was around midnight. I mean, it was 12.30 and like was restless until like 1.32, right? Then he falls asleep and we're like, great, we can go to bed. Well, a little bit before three o'clock, I hear Jamesy crying, come out and check on him, and he had gotten sick. And it is now almost eight o'clock, been up since then. He's gotten sick a few times. We think he was like drinking some of the water in the pool from the hotel room, and we think that's what's causing it. Kind of hope it's that, because if it's a bug, then look, we're all at risk. Um, I don't think it was anything he could have eaten. Also, if that's the case, then we're probably susceptible to getting it too, because we kind of ate what he ate, but he didn't eat anything crazy. Um, so we think it's just that, and hopefully it's not a bug, but, um, so because of that, I actually took the morning off of work. I might take the whole day. Um, we're just gonna get packed up and go home, not even gonna shower anything here, we're gonna shower at home, just to feel clean and fresh in our own space. I don't know if you could hear in the background, but he is in good spirits the entire night. Which also we just believe that it's more of like from the pool water because he's happy as a clown. Bye bye. Who even knows how many hours it's been? Alrighty, I think Peter gave you the gist of what happened overnight, correct? I think so. Um, and James has been great. He slept for four hours when we got home and literally in the pool last night he had swallowed so much I said to Peter, I was like, he's gonna throw up. And thankfully that's what it seems that seems to be what happened. Um, Teddy now has a little bit of runny nose, so we're like, what the heck is that about? But we've just been like recouping all day. I just made some dinner some like veggies and noodles and we are exhausted <laughs> i um i think we're gonna do baths and bedtime very very soon <laughs> i'm done with work it's a strange strange day we're all kind of pooped but jamesy slept after we got back from the hotel a good like four or five hours. I think it was long enough for him to feel good, but not long enough to ruin tonight's sleep, so. being invaded. They search for the claw. Ah. Oh no. Ah. You could do it. Good job, my baby. Ah. All right, it's 10.30, kids are asleep. Hopefully they stay asleep. It's funny, like, I'm more confident now that James's sickness, the early morning hours of today, was from the pool water. Mm -hmm. But Teddy is now actually sick. Right. He, he had, really, like, a little congestion yesterday. Yeah. And he really struggled going to bed just now. And all day today, like, yesterday he had congestion. He woke up today with, like, a runny nose. But now it's, like, sick runny mm -hmm. nose. So that's a bummer. Yeah. yeah. Um, but kids get sick. Yeah. They say on average once a month, and we've been <laughs> and, pretty lucky. Right, and it, it can very well stay mild, and mm -hmm. I feel like we're always like, is it not all the time, is it the worst case scenario? So yeah. We'll get good rest and yes. take care of him. It's anyway, good to be home. It's good to be home. We also love you guys so much. We so do. Mm -hmm. We always uh, want to make sure you guys know that. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good morning, we're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. We're having a little snack, that's why the puppy is barking. Um, 
It's a really gloomy day out, rainy. Peter has a ton of meetings today. So the boys and I are gonna have a Toy Story marathon. We are on Toy Story 3 right now. Teddy is taking a nap. Like I said, we're having a snack. We're just gonna, we're gonna take it easy today. Another off night of sleep for Teddy with whatever he's fighting. Um, but we're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna, we're gonna do our best. Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Today is a marathon day. I'm not like a fun run Disney or Chicago marathon today. It's a work marathon day. But I had a glimmer of hope there. I had a day where I had I think eight meetings back to back to back. 11 invites in that time. So three double booked meetings. Just a really busy day. I got a glimmer of hope there. One of my meetings got canceled. So I have an hour break here. So I'm going to take a lunch. I'm actually cooking pancakes for the fam. Teddy's snoozing. It's a rainy day. It's gloomy out. Um, so we're just going to have a good Thursday. It's Friday Eve and I have a three-day weekend. So that's what we're kind of focusing on, prioritizing that. And I'm making pancakes. Boom, bada boom, 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 boom. Delicious looking pancakes. Delicious looking pancakes. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Oh, it's like a blizzard outside right now. It's like actually accumulating on the grass. What is this? What is this garbage? Oh, I just saw a car. Bump into another car. Parallel parking. Sorry. Can you see the snow? I'll try to get a, if it's still snowing when we leave, because there's a viewing today, we'll show it better, but it's snowing. We escaped the apartment again for another viewing. Hopefully it's the last one. Um, speaking of moving, we got our lease agreement today. Um, the townhouse we'll be living in is officially off the market. And that is super exciting. We still want to like go through everything and nothing's been sent, but we did receive it. Um, I am having an endoscopy and a colonoscopy on Monday and we are spending this time away from the house heading to the pharmacy to pick up my medicine, a few other things. The, the weather is just like ice and icky and blah. What's the temperature? 30, 30 degrees. Um, so we'll just, otherwise we'll just stay warm in the car. I told you all it was snowing. We're getting Chipotle. Plant based life. We're home. We're super home, yeah, yeah. <laughs> James, he only slept for 45 minutes, but it's okay because he'll hopefully go to sleep so good. Because it's kind of later. Yeah. It was just a nice little rest. Was that a little spicy? You know what the win is of these like slightly annoying visits to our apartment? Is it forces us to micro clean, do da, do da, hey, it Peter forces us to. Peter is a singer today. You've well, been singing this whole clip. Because it's almost Friday and it's a three day weekend that we forgot about until yesterday. Right, and. You have to edit a vlog right now. And <gasps> you have a conference thing because Peter's going to Texas. What? <laughs> I think we referenced it in a different vlog recently, but I was uh, invited out to represent the Brookhart family at a the National Conference of Top Performers in American Cancer Society. It's cool because I think it's one of the first time endurance series, so like the running portion of ACS, because ACS does a lot of events. They do bike events, swim events, Relay for Life events, breast cancer walks. I think those are like the big, big ones. I think they're like runners is like, like a smaller portion of their portfolio. So I think it's one of the first times that endurance series is going. And I got invited to go out for our family. So next Friday, I fly out to Houston, Texas. I'll be there. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's basically to meet with other top performing teams or performers um, to discuss like best practices and fundraising, share ideas, share concepts, and to hopefully take away a bunch of great ways that we can fundraise even more for American Cancer Society. And I have to burp, so I have to stop editing, filming this clip. You're born to the Brookharts who adore Christmas. You were also Kevin McAllister at the same time. I came out of my ACS. No, before you go meeting and uh, this happened. <laughs> you can see he's, he's a little crusty. A little sicky guy. He got a rest. He's doing good, yeah. And I kind of have a sore throat. Ooh. 
Here, I'll point it towards you so you can say how your meeting went. Got my ACS shirt on. I want to make sure I like the outfit and pull out my, like, my Chicago Marathon trick. ACS pullover. So, it's three days events. So it's a Friday night, which is like an elegant awards night. So we have to dress fancy for that. Saturday, they're gonna give us a shirt to wear. So everyone's matching. We'll probably take a group photo. And then Sunday, it's rep your event. So I'm actually gonna rep ACS in both ways. Our friend Megan, who's part of the Run Disney committee, you've seen some of the Run Disney vlogs, is gonna bring me one of the Run Disney committee shirts. So I'll be wearing the shirt, but then I'm also gonna bring this. So if it gets chilly in the conference rooms, I'll toss this over so I can represent Run Disney and Chicago Marathon. Awesome. Meeting went well, pretty basic. It was like, hey, show up. If you don't know how to navigate a lift, let us know. If you don't know how to fly, let us know. We're gonna have lots of fun. Lots of fundraising, talk, planning, strategy, offer, and then catch a study. Like, wait, you're leaving? Not for a little bit, not for a weekend. James brought the luggage out. <laughs> James wants to go on a trip, apparently. It's also been sitting there since we got back from Disney in the hallway. I was like, do we put it away? Only have so I just, long I just filled out a quote for a moving company to did take we, our stuff. Did we say our lease? Oh yeah, we said our lease agreement arrived. We yeah. have to examine it. All of a sudden today, we've had a lot of <sighs> office handlings. A lot of paperwork. Sarah's like, our American insurance didn't want to cover Sarah's procedure, so we'd like make calls and talk about how to get it approved, and it got approved, and then, and then ACS, no before you go travel meeting, and my work was crazy. And we got our lease, and then we lease. filled out our moving thing. It's like. <sighs> Whoa, baby! Wow! That was quite some jumping! <laughs> We've been making all kinds of towers tonight. And on top of everything else today, we also heard word today that Jamesy is going to be starting his speech and occupational therapy soon. It's just the day, the day of emails, the day of follow-ups, a day of progress. Okay, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe bummed about the snow, but I do love late night walks in the city when it's snowing like this. I mean, come on, the architecture, the buildings, come on, come on, come on, gorgeous, utterly gorgeous. Who loves bath time? Kenny loves a bath time. <laughs> Who loves the bath time? Teddy loves the bath time. <laughs> oh, you caught me. Choo choo! Good job, James. I'm over Yes, the clown is on the train. I can't show what they. Choo choo! Turn! <gasps> the one on. Yeah, on the train. It's a blue train. Hey, whoa. Whoa. Um, what the heck happened outside during bedtime? 1.65 in the last six hours. 0.2 expected in the next 24. <sighs> Two inches of snow. I come out of putting Jamesy down and it's a snow one. Mm -hmm. um, also, James was flabbergasted by this shirt. <laughs> He usually could not take it. I'm talking his Jamesy way. Goodness. It's actually fairly early for us to be going to bed. But we are exhausted from the last two nights. So hopefully, like, I'm hoping for like three hours of uninterrupted sleep. It's just, it's the time of our life we've been hoping for. Hoping for yeah. and dreaming of. And, we're living it. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Friday. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at 
walt disney productions.